What is good everyone? We are back for another day of spoiler season here. Day 12. Just three more reveals to go after this one. There's tons still that we haven't seen. Today though, we are finding out what passives unlock with our relics. And it appears, unless they're keeping it hidden, that there's only going to be seven tiers. Oh no, because six isn't on there. This is one, two, three, four, five, and then it skips six and goes to seven. So there may still be a tier six, and it, well, obviously there's still a tier six before tier seven. There may still be a tier eight as well that just doesn't have any passives on it. Okay. So we will unlock powerful passives alongside our relics, minigame and drop rate modifiers returning from the previous leagues but are now unlocked earlier, and brand new skilling and PVM passives have been added. Alright, let's just start at tier 1 I guess, we'll just start at tier 1. 5 times XP modifier, fantastic. Items from sources will be 2 times as common, unique items, great. Farming ticks will occur every minute instead of every 5 minutes, the fuck? Who needs Overgrown, man? Overgrown's so trash. Minigame points received a boost by four times. That's right out the gate. That is really good. Run energy is never drained, and all clue scrolls will drop as stackable scroll boxes and clue step progress is saved between clues. Okay, that last bit as well. I wasn't expecting. I was expecting the stackable scroll boxes, but clue step progress saved between clues. You can just drop a bad one and a one that you just can't be asked to do, you know, Karazi jungle type thing. Legends quest is what I was thinking, but I guess that's only for Kandarin pickers, which is nobody. Anyway, tier two, go up from five times to eight times on your XP multiplier, which is great because it means that early prayer strategy that a lot of people are floating around. And I'll go over it now, soon as though we know now that eight times multiplier is at tier two. If you complete Shield of a Rav, then it lets you claim lamps from Minus in the Varrock Museum, both from Shield of Arav and from Defender of Varrock, which is auto-popped, but you can't claim lamp usually until you have Shield of Arav done as well. So completing Shield of Arav, which is a quick and easy quest that you just need a partner for on day one, that's going to be huge. You'll get two lamps with 6k worth inside them, which multiplied by 8 will be almost enough to get you protection prayers online. You'll just have to do a little bit of leveling first so that you can actually use the lamps on prayer because they have that like minimum level requirement. I'm not sure what it is for each of them. But if you kill 10 dragons, that will both get you one of the combat mastery points done and get you the bones you need to lamp up the rest of the way. So getting protection prayers on day one is going to be super easy because you can do it at tier two. Don't have to wait till tier three like we did last year to get that eight times modifier. At tier three, we get a two times multiplier to combat, which is multiplicative with others. So basically our combat's at 16 times at that point rather than at eight times. Bigger and badder is unlocked for free. Slayer points are five times from tasks and you aren't required to complete five tasks before earning points. It's absolutely fantastic because I'm going to be farming Slayer quite early, I think. Slayer superior rates are increased to a 1 in 50 chance to appear, much more likely to see superiors when you're on task. Okay, all good stuff. Tier 4, item go up from 2 times to 5 times as common, and minigame points are doubled from 4 times to 8 times. At tier 5, the XP multiplier goes from 8 to 12 or 24 for combat even and at tier 7 it goes from 12 to 16 slash 32 times for combat xp other changes max of grace hallowed marks brimhaven vouchers and stardust now benefit from the minigame multiplier okay so they didn't in previous years just a, a small upgrade there twisted ancestral kits holy ornament kit sanguine ornament kit and awakeners orbs now benefit from the drop rate modifier yeah nothing too crazy there and every clue skull you receive will drop as a stackable clue box that's fantastic you can just get as many clues farmed up as you like awesome it's great to finally know that we have the these rates we don't know exactly how quick it will be to get to tier two but usually that's something that happens in your first hour or so i think i got mine in like 45 minutes last time maybe maybe just slightly less so that's great being able to do shield of arav get the lamps and lamp up at tier two you'll be able to kill scurious before you're even tier three yet pretty much which is 
kind of crazy. You'd have three combat masteries by that point. Well, this is definitely a, a cool little announcement. Nothing to debate over today, but definitely does allow us to start making some more concrete plans as to how we're spending our first couple of days. It would have been nice to also get the amount of points that uh, these boundaries. I'm kind of surprised they didn't give us that too. But yeah, this is all awesome stuff. The farming tick thing. Clue scrolls have been stackable for everyone. I mean, again, point multiply coming back. I mean, Soul Wars is going to be great again. Combat experience includes hit points and prayer too. So if you got to tier 3 before lamping, that would be a 16 times modifier rather than 8. Might be worth planning for. Really might be. We'll just have to see what point boundaries these are at. Make sure you hit that like button. It does help a ton promoting the channel and my videos to more people. And hit the subscribe button too if you haven't already. So you stay up to date on all the latest news. And I feel like I always forget to mention. But feel free to come join the Discord. There's a few of us in there that keep chatting about leagues and stuff. There's a leagues channel in there for discussion. So if you want to talk or plan with other people who are maybe trying leagues for the first time or like me more experienced definitely join the discord for the link in the description and come say hello all right that's gonna be it for this one look after yourselves be lovely to each other and i'll see you on the next one